No, this is a familiar site to most of us, I would say. It's the data site, the shiny site of the CD. And of course, because it's so shiny, it acts like a, like a mirror. It reflects, as you can see, a part of the room in which I'm taking this video. But what's happening on the left-hand side there? Let's see what happens as I move the camera a little bit. See? You see a sort of rainbow pattern. And over there, blue, green, red, green, all sorts of interesting colors. What's going on? Well, mirrors don't work the way you think they work. They don't. You see, what we, what we learn in school, which and which is perfectly good enough for for the sort of day-to-day -day understanding of what a mirror does, is that a mirror reflects the light at the angle in which it hits the mirror. So this is a mirror, a flat side of the mirror, and light comes in from over here. It hits the mirror, reflecting back at the exact same angle and down again. Angle, angle same angle comes in and goes out again. And that's how the mirror image is formed. So when you're looking at a mirror, you see yourself because everything hits the mirror and certain angle comes back again. And that is not actually true. True. And the person to explain that very well in sort of layman's terms would be Richard Feynman. In in, in his little book that he wrote, Q, called QED, Quantum Electrodynamics, and he explains it in layman's terms. He explains what actually seems to be going on on the basis of the math that to help to describe the situation accurately. Here, now here is what it boils down to, and and this will seem very, very strange when you hear it. The light doesn't just hit the mirror at a certain angle and come back again. What actually appears to be the case, the maths that work to explain exactly how a mirror works, is as if a photon that emerges from here in order to hit the mirror and be reflected back to you, as if that photon would know all the possible paths it could take from the light source via the mirror to your, to your eye. It would know all these possible paths it could take and superimpose them on one another. Which, at which uh, point in time, most paths cancel each other out, ex except the one that we see in action, which is the one where it hits at the exact same angle on the mirror. Now you might say, that, you know, what does that matter? What use is that? Because, because in the end, the math, as complicated as Feynman made them, boil down to the exact same thing. It hits at the same angle as it as it impinges on the, on the mirror. So, so whether it does this or not, well, the end result will be the same. Yes, that is true for a perfectly ordinary flat mirror. But not for a CD. And the reason why that is the case is that a CD consists, the surface of a CD consists of an enormous amount of very fine lines going across the surface of the CD. Those lines break up the surface 
into distinct bits. And as a result, for light hitting that, that surface, hitting the surface and reflecting back, not all paths are available anymore. And that so then results in certain colors being not being able to be reflected in a straightforward way as compared to other colors. And that explains the rainbow patterns. It explains the rainbow patterns See, you can see in a number of places, like an oil slick for example. You know, you drop a drop of oil on a puddle of water, the oil becomes a one molecule or a thick layer of oil across the whole surface of the puddle. And the way the light refracts refract oil in that oil is subject to that same consideration. It is as if the light knows of all available paths. But because that refraction layer of oil is so thin, that not all the paths are available anymore, and the light gets refracted into colors again. It also means that if you had a surface and you were to very cleverly design it with interruptions blacked out parts on the reflective surface to cancel out certain potential paths that the light could take you could make mirror images appear on completely counterintuitive places on that mirror. And, and that experiment has been done and has been shown to be successful. So, so quantum electrodynamics, as, as weird as it sounds, is correct.